Hey, what's up guys? John here. Tyson Foods just partnered up with a bug manufacturer and they're going to start putting insects and bugs inside of our food. Tyson has reached an agreement for a two-fold investment with Protix. It's a leading global insect ingredients company. Tyson and Protix also joining together for the operation and construction of an insect ingredient facility to upcycle food manufacturing byproducts into high quality insect proteins and lipids. You think I'm kidding? Look at this article, Bloomberg. This came out yesterday, October 17th. It says Tyson Foods joined join bug protein craze in partnership with a startup. But unfortunately, it doesn't, it doesn't end there. This is actually just the start. Over the next 6 to 12 to 24 months, you're going to see so much change happen inside of the food system. How you live, where you travel, all these different things are going to start to happen. And smart and savvy entrepreneurs, investors, and Americans are paying very close attention to this so they can position themselves because not everybody wants to eat the bugs, right? Not everybody wants to do that. So you got to position yourself for change because at the end of the day, money equals options, options equals wealth in this new normal. Please hit the like button. When hit the like button, YouTube is going to share this content to educate more people about what's really going on. And if you like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you at my company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. If you have late payments, medical bills, charge-offs, foreclosures, bankruptcies, repossessions, any negative item on your credit report, go to greatcreditfast.com by clicking the link below to schedule a free strategy session. Take a look at this. This Again, yesterday, Tyson Food announced his partnership with Protex for more sustainable protein production. Tyson Foods, one of the world's largest food companies, has reached an agreement for a two-fold investment in Protex, the leading global insects ingredient company. The strategic investment will support the growth of emerging insect ingredient industry and expand the use of insect ingredients solutions to create a more efficient, sustainable proteins. This is what's happened. Food system for the global food system. And right here, shrimp manufacturers are doing the same exact thing. But look at this. They're saying that rich in protein and low in carbohydrates, the, can, they contain essential minerals, including iron, zinc, calcium, and magnesium. This is what's going to... I mean, people think that they were joking when they said that you're going to eat the bugs. No. This is how this whole thing plays out. So everything is going to be about sustainability. Everything is going to be about the environment. Everything is going to be about emissions going forward. So right now, they now program will train 20,000 young Americans in careers for climate and clean energy. So this push is now just starting. For example, National Geographic. National Geographic, to keep the planet flourishing, 30% of the Earth needs protection by 2030. So these 20,000 foot soldiers are going to start to march America, looking for ways in which we can reduce, reduce our emissions. And this is going to be one of the ways, right? This is going to be this acquiring of massive blocks of farmland, of uh, wetlands, of forests. All of these lands are going to continue to get purchased by the government. So this week, the United Nations Working Group responded to a joint statement posted online in December by some of the world's largest conservation organizations calling for 30% of the planet to be managed for nature by 2030 and for half of the planet to be protected by 2050. But exactly what counts as protected and how countries can reach these goals is still up for debate, right? Half of the planet to be quote unquote protected. But now look at this. This came out through two days ago, right? White House announces new actions for home ownership. For millions of Americans, home ownership is a foundation for so many parts of their lives. And for many, it is a primary source of wealth. The Biden Harris administration is committed to expanding access to home ownership by ensuring homeowners can afford to stay in their homes and make repairs that they need, and that the wealth building potential for home ownership works equally for everyone. Today, for Biden Harris administration is releasing new data showing major federal investment in home ownership. Think about this, the government's investing in, in home ownership, right? and announcing key new actions for accelerating progress. These actions make important strides, but given the lack of homes on the market and current interest rates to truly ensure home ownership is accessible for all households, we need Congress to act. That is why President, Bar President Biden Harris proposed $16 billion for neighborhood homes tax credit, which will result in more than 400,000 homes built or rehabilitated creating a pathway for more families to buy a home and start building wealth. The president has also proposed $10 billion down payment assistance. They're, they're really starting for the home ownership dream. They're really going after it. Many people might say, hey, this is a good thing. Connect the dots. Connect the dots. They are saying right here that 
they want to allow home buyers to leverage income from accessory dwelling units, right? They want to increase mortgage op opportunities. They want to make home repairs easier to finance. They want to do all these different things to where people become dependent on the government. People need assistance. And once they begin needing assistance, that's only just the beginning. Right. Remember 20, 30 years ago, nobody needed assistance. Everyone was able to just simply go out there and buy a home. Now, the bigger the government gets, the harder it gets for everybody else. So look at what's happening now. They're saying $90 million push could help U.S. building withstand climate disasters. $90 million. I mean, that couldn't, that couldn't fund a trailer park, $90 million, let alone have a significant impact in anything. But if you look at where the big money is, look at what the billionaires are doing in response to all this, everything will start to make a lot of sense. So billionaire Tom Steyer, who also ran for president uh, in the past, plans a net zero apartment upgrades across his portfolio, right? So he's going to start buying and upgrading these properties across the U.S. A lot of billionaires are going to begin doing this. And the reason for it is because these upgrades are going to be expensive and they're going to be required. They're going to be required by law. So when these billionaires are able to go out there and buy these properties as interest rates are at all time highs. You have one and a half trillion dollars in commercial real estate that has to get refinanced over the next 12 months. What's ultimately going to happen? People aren't going to be able to refinance their loans. If they can't refinance their loans, they're going to be forced to sell their properties. And what a great time for a billionaire or for a large corporation to be able to say, look, yeah, I know you can't you know, refinance that loan, but maybe they go to the bank and they buy the property. They buy it directly from the seller. And so they'd buy it, they do these upgrades, and now they are you know, able to multiply money. That's what billionaires generally do. When you look at what Forbes is saying, this came out again, 2019, right? 2019, this has been in the works for a while. The increased importance of environmental sustainability in real estate. They say sustainability can no longer be considered a niche. In fact, consumers demand and expect it from all aspects of their lives, even professional sports leagues like the NFL, now have former sustainability initiative plans in place, according to recent surveys. 81% of consumers around the globe believe it is extremely or very important for companies to have environmental improvement objectives. R investors are looking to buy or upgrade rental properties can expect many of the same premises to ring true. The largest pool of tenants is likely coming from younger generations, millennials, and even Gen Z who care about the carbon footprint. Properties can stand out from the crowd if they have features that highlight the environmental consciousness. And they go on talking about these features in which you know they can do uh, exterior windows and doors, caulked and insulated properties, install energy efficient appliances, HVAC, paint the interior, maintain um, insulate and, and insulate the water heater, right? Switch to energy efficient lighting. They, they start here, but it gets a lot deeper than that. In fact, if you look at what's going on in New York City, there's something called Local Law 97. And Local Law 97 says that all these properties have to hit these certain thresholds to upgrade their property and reduce their carbon footprint. Now, I've been looking into this for quite some time. In fact, I had someone on my podcast who was in this industry talk about how they're getting funding directly from the government and how this whole entire system works. It's really shocking, but this is happening. So this is happening, residential property, commercial property, all property, this is what's going on. So NYC, NYC is just the beginning of this, but follow NYC. NYC building owners could get a two-year relief from Local Law 97. Local Law 97 requires most New York City buildings over 25,000 square feet to meet new energy efficiency and green energy, uh, greenhouse gas emission limits by 2024. These upgrades can include, for example, high-performance improvements for facades and windows passed by City Council in 2019. The goal of this law is to reduce emissions being produced from the city's largest buildings by 40% from 2030 and 80% by 2050. With the law set to take effect in a few months, the DOB officials announced or spelled out the rules for the effort to alleviate property owners concerning regarding the $268 for every ton of emissions above the limit. Officials told property owners that even if they make good faith efforts to meet the sustainability requirements but don't achieve them by 2024 deadlines, could they can possibly get two more years, right? The enforcement, so look at how big this is. According to Bloomberg, only 11% of 40,000 buildings covered under the law will be able to be in compliance next year. 11%. And there's numbers saying, you know, in the millions of dollars will be the fines if they don't comply uh, per building, right? So depending on the size of the building, of course, depending on, you know, it's going to be case by case, but there's been multiple articles coming out saying it's going to be in the millions of dollars per year uh, range. Some I've even read of one being $25 million per year. 
So you start to look at what this is going to mean. This is going to mean a lot of money. This is going to mean a lot of money. It's going to mean a lot of cost at a period in which many people don't have money. Look at this, for example, though. They say right here, implement and enforce building energy regulations and mandatory performance standards for existing buildings. And this, these are, this is the location. So just so you can kind of get a general idea, this is all over the world. This is happening really, really rapidly. And, uh, and things are about to change in a big way. I mean, everything, even air travel, for example. Uh, the aviation industry is set to spend $1 trillion in carbon offsets by 2050. So right now, if you're enjoying going on skip lag or any of these online apps and booking a flight from LA to New York City for 85 bucks, that's, that's the thing of the past. Over the next year or two, that trip is gonna double, triple, quadruple. It's gonna get a lot more expensive to travel. So you wanna take this into consideration. When they say inflation is gonna be transitory and all these things are gonna you know, go back to normal, they're not, I promise you. Everything's gonna get a lot more expensive. So take this into consideration with the goals in which you're planning for yourself and your business. Plan for a more expensive world because that's what we are walking into. I mean, they're, they're gonna be cracking down on it even across e-commerce for your business. You're not gonna be able to escape what's coming. Amazon, for example, a big climate change uh, stress test is coming for Amazon sellers and suppliers. Now I talked about this before. If you are selling a product on Amazon, you're going to have to start to submit your emissions for your business. How you know how much emissions is this emitting into the environment, and you know what what should be the cost? What should you have to pay because of this? So take all this stuff into consideration. Pay very very close attention to it because Tyson, you know, now partnering up to join the uh, bug protein craze is just the start of it. Drop below, let's have a conversation about it. If you'd like to fix your credit, we'd love to help you. My company, greatcreditfast.com. That's greatcreditfast.com. You can click the link in the description below this video. Schedule a free strategy session. Catch you guys in the next one.